Hi there, Chris Benson's back. Welcome to Mini Quiz Episode 2. This is Geography. So again, if you did Episode 1, same format, 10 questions to get you get your brain going. Tell your friends and family and don't forget to email your scores to chriscbenson at hotmail.co.uk. Difference from the, we had general knowledge yesterday. We've got uh, geography in this one, so keep them, keep your comments coming, and I hope you're enjoying the quizzes. Um, so get yourself settled. Ten questions, all on geography today. Just a nice ten minutes to do something different. Might just keep you going during lockdown. Um, just to, as I say, get your brain going. I hope you enjoy what's coming. Ten questions. Are we ready? Of course you're ready. Here we go. Question number one for you. What is the name of the official national anthem of the United States of America? So question number one. What is the name of the official national anthem of the United States of America? That is number one, all on geography, okay? Um, so that's the first one. Remember, ten in this round, this mini quiz. Question two. Which female politician was the Prime Minister of Australia between 2010 and 2013. So question number two, which female politician was the Prime Minister of Australia between 2010 and 2013? I don't know, some of you will know that. Some of you will know that. Um, I won't give any clues because uh, there'll be somebody that We'll straight away know that, I guarantee. So, which female politician was the Prime Minister of Australia between 2010 and 2013? All right. Question number three. What is the capital city of Afghanistan? So, question number three. What is the capital city of Afghanistan? Have a bit of my milk. A pint, a pint on YouTube. Just, just want milk, I... Uh, hmm. Cheers. Question four, then. Which two colours are on the flag of Poland? So which two colours are on the flag of Poland? My, I tell you what, my, my eldest son, Eric, would know that straight away. He's absolutely up on his flags. He really is. He would know that straight away. Half a point for each. All right, half a point for each. Which two colours are on the flag of Poland? Half a point for each. All right. Question five. Which is the only US state to begin with the letter P? So which is the only US state to begin with the letter P? P for Papa. Which is it? Which is the only US state to begin with the letter P? That's number five. And of course, you can always rewind it if you need to repeat any of the questions. Um, really easy to do. Have a think. Make sure you put an answer down for them. You might as well have a go. Question number six. On a UK Monopoly board, which street shares the same colour as Leicester Square and Piccadilly? So question number six. On a UK Monopoly board, which street shares the same colour as Leicester Square and Piccadilly? That is number six. Remember, there are four. Uh, four more questions. So, um, on a UK Monopoly board, which street shares the same colour as Leicester Square and Piccadilly? All right. Question number seven. The Bank Santander shares its name with the town in which country? So, number seven. The Bank Santander shares its name with the town in which country? I think you'll know that one. I think you'll know that one. I think you'll be okay on that one. Uh, so three more. Three more, all right. Question number eight. Paraguay has borders with Brazil, Bolivia, and which other country? So Paraguay has borders with Brazil, Bolivia, and which other country? That is number eight. Just one other country. Who is it? All right. <coughs> My throat is really dry, sorry. I'm going to have a bit more milk. Mm. There we go. Right, number nine. The summit of Mount Everest sits on the border between which two countries? So the summit of Mount Everest sits on the border between which two countries? Half a point for each. 
Uh, half a point for each. The summit of Mount Everest sits on the border between which two countries? Half a point for each. I was watching a bit of um, uh, Charlie Borman was on BBC Four at the weekend, uh, and he was going from Ireland to Sydney, a repeat, and he was he'd reached um, the uh, the area around Mount Everest. Uh, but fascinating documentary. I'll have to watch more of it. So number nine, the summit of Mount Everest sits on the border between which two countries? Half a point for each. Number ten. What is the national currency of Egypt? So number 10, what is the national currency of Egypt? All right, so possible 10 marks up for grabs. Have a think of your answers. And uh, let's go back in time just for a minute whilst you're checking your answers. This is a, an advert um, from many years gone by. I tell you what, uh, an America one. Log cabin syrup. See what you think of this. Back in one minute. The delicate blend of sugar and real maple sugar syrup gives Log Cabin that real maple flavor. Try it on biscuits or on your favorite ice cream. The rich real maple flavor is why Log Cabin's the one most people buy. You love the maple flavor of Log Cabin. Delicious. Get Log Cabin syrup in the big economy size. Log cabin syrup. There you go. I thought for Pancake Week, I thought that was good to uh, dig out. So there you go. Uh, that was our classic advert of today. And it's time now to go through the answers for our geography round today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, on Wednesday nights on this channel, uh, you'll find uh, our live smartphone quiz. If you want to join in, drop me an email, chrisccbenson at hotmail.co.uk for more information. And also, that's the email address to send your scores to if you've played any of these quizzes. Do let me know if you like these mini quizzes and if you, uh, if you want any subjects in particular or if you want them to continue. All your feedback is really appreciated. So that's chrisccbenson at hotmail.co dot uk right answer time as promised uh number one what is the name of the official national anthem of the usa it is the star spangled banner did you know that the star spangled banner was the answer we were looking for there number two which female politician was the prime minister of australia between 2010 and 2013 it was the honorable julia gillard mp Julia Gillard is who we were looking for there. Did anyone get that right? Tell me now. Tell me, did you? Uh, number three. What is the capital city of Afghanistan? It is Kabul. K-A-B-U-L. Which two colours are on the flag of Poland? Half a point for each. Red and white. Red and white. Half a point for each. So red and white are the two colours that appear on the flag of Poland. Question number five. Which is the only US state to begin with the letter P? That's Pennsylvania. Well done if you got that one correct. Pennsylvania was the answer we were looking for. Five more to mark. Number six. On a UK Monopoly board, which street shares the same colour as Leicester Square and Piccadilly? The answer is Coventry Street. Not played Monopoly, full Monopoly in ages. We've got one called Monopoly Express, which is pretty good. But a full-blown Monopoly game, you can't beat it, can you? And anyway, a Coventry Street was the right answer. Number seven, the bank Santander shares, shares its name with a town in which country? The answer is Spain. Well done if you got that right. Of course, Anton Deck advertised Santander um, on adverts in this country, don't they? Number eight, Paraguay has borders with Brazil, Bolivia, and which other country? The answer is Argentina. Argentina was the answer there. Number nine, the summit of Mount Everest sits on the border between which two countries? The answer is Nepal and China. Half a point for each. Half a point for Nepal. Half a point for for China. So well done if you got those right. Uh, and number 10, what is the national currency of Egypt? I bet there's all sorts of answers out there, but I'll tell you the answer is the pound. Pound is the answer. Egyptian pound. So there you go. Mark them out of 10. Do send your scores over to chriscbenson at hotmail.co.uk. Hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be another uh, quiz very soon. So make sure you like and subscribe. Look out for another mini quiz and uh, take care out there. Uh, bye for now.